I take it to push my performance further. I take it to push my body further. Fuck normal, it doesn't to be normal. Life isn't fair. Get used to it. It works for me. It helps me concentrate. It helps me focus. I feel clearer in my thought process. And I'm much better verbally, like fluidity-wise. I find when I'm writing, I can write a lot better and it flows and flows and flows. I just find it a much better answer. Ordering wise, I have a pretty much set list of what I order and when I order it. So, we all together is about £800. So, it's probably just over £100 a month on different substances. Well, people take coke on the weekend and they pay well for a gram. Decent gram of coke, about 100 quid an hour. So, some people are just naturally smart. I wasn't. I was smart, but through studying rather than it being a natural ability. So I'm picking up my order from online from a vendor from the US, which I've used numerous times. Because it's a grey area and you just go into a post office and technically you're picking up drugs, but you can buy things like that online from the dark net. Uh, yeah, I'm just picking something up. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Appreciate it, thank you. I've got the package, so hopefully everything should be in there. Some people have been passing it in, or so a lot of tablets in there. It's like, yeah, yeah I've just, just ordered something online. And it's like, oh, what is it? It's like, yeah, nothing, doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. So usually I'll pick it up, take it home, kind of give it a once over, more of a high profile check, make sure it's the thing that I wanted to order. I'll capture everything up anyway for all the powders and then I'll put it into my tubs for week by week of what I'm taking each day. It can be quite addictive, and I know for a fact I've got an addictive personality, so it's not exactly something I want to get addicted to. I found out recently that I had ADHD and Asperger's, so previous to that I had no idea of it. Uh, so I wasn't prescribed any medications to do with it. So maybe the reason I like smart drugs is because they allow me to function as normal, so to speak. There's substances in there actually which you can't get over the counter in the UK, but you can in the US, so it's a banned substance in the UK. Um, there's a couple in there which would be coming under the Psychoactive Act from a couple of years back, so they'd probably be classed as illegal. If I was to take the 5-HTP here, and I was to take this telegram, so these are obviously prescription medication, depending on how much food you take. It's going to end up with serotonin syndrome and you'll be in hospital and potentially dead. People expect to take these things and wake up the next day and be super smart or be able to perform even better and that's not how it works. You're still going to put in the effort. So I say in a way, you could probably class them in a similar way to steroids. The first ever time I took something, I was expecting a bit of a... Um, I was expecting more. I was, I was expecting something like Limitless and I was expecting to all of a sudden feel a massive rush through my system. I'm taking around 60 pills a day, whereas maybe five, six years ago, I was probably taking between five to 10 pills a day. There's been points where I've been taking almost 100 pills. This is the list of the things that I'm currently taking. And the master spreadsheet is the substances that I've ever taken and just my positives, negatives, the dosages, range, any interactions, the mode of actions, just basically any links to any research or anything done on it. I'm quite obsessed with it. I have lists for everything that I do. I've always wanted to succeed, I've always wanted to improve and I always want to learn. It's also the problem with why are people doing this because there's increased pressure on education. There's increased pressure, you're paying £9,000 a year for university students. People want more for their money. And whether, that, whether they're pushing themselves to the limit by taking smart drugs, that's one way of looking at it. But is that not because of the pressures of university?